Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is Tuesday and I'm in the parking lot right now about to go in and get my eyebrows microbladed. I told you guys I was going to bring you along for the experience. So if you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. This video is going to be super informational and I'm going to take you guys along with me to show you what it's like to get your eyebrows microbladed if uh, you're someone who's been considering it. I'm very, very excited. Here's my before. This is what my eyebrows look like. I don't have any makeup on. Um, I just put stuff on my lips, but I wasn't allowed to wear makeup because she's gonna be wiping away at my eyes and stuff. Um, so, it's baby face. Hey guys, I just got in here. I'm about to lay it down. Here is the little setup, and then this is the tray. And Karina just explained how everything is gonna work. Um, like the different steps and everything so we're gonna do some before pictures first and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing now that I'm laying under her ring light I thought I would give you guys like a true before of what my eyebrows look like she just brushed them out for me so this is my before <laughs> we just put the numbing on and we have it covered in saran wrap we did the whole mapping process she had me look at it made sure i liked everything about it um and yeah so now i'm just sitting here with this numbing cream on we have a timer set it has to stay on for 25 minutes and then we're going to start the microblading process i'm recording my first impressions of this we're about to get started That's what it feels like? Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad at no. all. No, this is like nothing because I get my tattoo laser. Um, I'm having it removed and so I have to have like laser treatments on it and that hurts. Do they numb you for it? They do, they inject lidocaine, but I still feel it. This is like nothing. I could go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have girls that fall asleep. So we just finished this one, but she's doing a what is it called? A, a, a pig. Oh my goodness! I can't even talk. A pigment push. A pigment push, so that all of the pigment can get in there. So that's why I look crazy right now. But we're about to do the other side. Um, honestly, guys, it was not that bad at all. Anyone can handle this. It's like nothing compared to my tattoo removal, which you guys know how that's been. Uh, she just explained to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, let me know you right. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously looking like this, but we just finished the, uh, oh my god. I'm so bad, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, we just finished this one though. I have a whole eyebrow. Man, that's amazing. So this is just the microblading yeah. by itself right now. Yes, and she just showed me the tool that they use for the shading, and it's basically like a little baby tattoo gun. It has like a little needle in there mm -hmm. and it uh, she dips it in the pigment and it deposits it to fill it in and make it look fuller. Okay, so I'm at Starbucks now really quick want to talk about my brows so it was not that painful at all they're definitely darker right now than what they will be they're gonna light up quite a bit and then um, she said I'll lose like 30 to 40 percent I think of the pigment and then when I go in for my follow-up appointment in six to eight weeks that's like the perfection appointment where 
we basically finalize everything and then I'll be good for hopefully at least a year. Um, here's how they look. I'm really, really happy with how she did the shape and how she was able to bring it in. These like little hair like strokes look so real throughout. So I'm just really happy. She is so amazing at what she does. She is going to give me some sort of a discount for anyone who goes in there and mentions my name. I don't know exactly what that's going to be yet, but I will put it in the description box along with her information and where she's located. But anyway, I am at Starbucks right now about to go in and grab our drink. I just mobile ordered and I was gonna go through the drive-thru but there's like a little bit of a line so I'm just gonna wait and I'm gonna grab my coffee and Chad's coffee I got him one too and I'm gonna head home because I got some work to do hey guys I did not do a very good job vlogging today um, I got home a while ago and then I did a little bit of work on my computer and I had intended on packing orders and going to the post office and then I just went through this like midday slump, probably because I didn't have my coffee this morning. Um, I feel like just having it in the afternoon was not good enough for me, but I wasn't allowed to have coffee before my appointment because you're not supposed to consume caffeine before microblading. So I feel like it just set the tone for my whole day and I was like really sleepy. So it was a bit of a flop today. But I just posted on Instagram stories asking you guys to ask me questions and I'm gonna do a little Q&A as part of this vlog about the microblading experience. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock. I like everything that has a cherry on top. Get on my list of the things I love, love, love. You could be the one I trust. All the second chances they are nothing for us. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy um, I will say the last several hours have been like really minimal pain Like I feel like it just feels like I have like scratches on my eyes, you know, so it's like a little bit sore, but they look so good and I don't want them to lighten. I'm sad because I know that it's inevitable. Like anytime you go for your first microblading treatment, they always lighten. That's just how it works. So I know they're going to lighten, but I'm not going to get upset or discouraged because over the next two weeks of the healing process, um, as they lighten, I'm just going to, you know, keep in mind that in six to eight weeks, I'm going to be going back in and getting my next um, appointment done anyway and that will be like the final appointment so Chad got a taco kit from Costco so we're making this taco kit for Taco Tuesday and I looked it up online like the best way to make this obviously you can just heat the chicken up and then make the tacos but we wanted to spruce it up a little bit so we mixed in a little bit of chicken stock and I'm heating up the chicken in this pan and it smells absolutely amazing and then I'm heating up the tortillas on here And then I just mixed in the cilantro lime and the salsa along with some cheese and the lettuce or like coleslaw mix. And this is what I'm gonna put on mine, but Chad doesn't like the cilantro lime, so I've left some of it back for him to make his own. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. What are you doing? Oh, he's sleepy. Are you sleepy? Sometimes I think back to the days when Chad said he wasn't allowed on the couch and I would have to sneak him on the couch. And now Chad's the first person to invite him on the couch so he can fall asleep with him. And it is hilarious. Do not mind the cream on my nose. <laughs> Looking like a real idiot over here. Um, I'm really dumb and I had a little baby pimple like on the corner of my nose, which I popped because, you know, I couldn't resist. And I squeezed it and then it like got kind of bigger and I started picking at it and then a scab formed and this whole past weekend I did nothing but just pick at it and pick at it and pick at it and every time the scab would form I would pick at it some more. I don't know why I'm this way but it's like so hard for me to control and so I just kept picking at it and now I have this like wound on my nose. I mean it's not that bad but it's kind of gross so I put the um Neova cream on it. It's the tissue repair cream that I use for my tattoo removal stuff. It's supposed to be good for like stuff like this. So I just like coated it all over my little nose in hopes that it's going to help it heal and also stop me from touching it because I'll feel that and then 
like, you know, remember not to touch it. I think I mentioned that I couldn't wear makeup the day of, but you actually can't wear makeup for two weeks. So get used to seeing my no makeup face because I can't wear makeup for two weeks, but Chad's shaving his face right now. And then we're gonna watch TV and have a snack and get ready for bed. Good morning, guys. It is currently 6 a.m. And I just woke up a little bit ago, actually before my alarm, which is good because that means last week when I woke up at 6 a.m. every day, I'm starting to like build up this habit where I'm waking up already on my own, which is really good. So that's good. But I'm laying here watching the news, snuggling trooper right here who's all bundled up. <laughs> I just discovered the feel like temperature today is 106 degrees. So whew, it has been so hot here in Florida lately. Just hot. Probably gonna lay here and snuggle trooper for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna get up and make my pre-workout and start getting ready for the gym. Oh my God. Are you serious? My hair. <sighs> My eyebrows are definitely darker than they were yesterday, <laughs> which I knew was gonna happen. I'm like, I was in love with them yesterday, now I'm like, whoa. But it could just be because my face looks paler because I don't have my makeup on, you know, like I normally would. Anyway, I'm at the gym and I'm doing upper body today. All finished. Almost forgot to stop that. I am due for a self tan and I always realize it when I'm working out because I'm looking at myself in the mirror while I'm lifting and I'm like, ew, why do I look ugly? And then I realize it's because I haven't had my spray tan. It is amazing what spray tanning will do for your confidence. I just feel like I look so much better with my spray tan. 289 calories, heart rate got up to 168, average of 140, and my workout was 40 minutes long. Made a bowl of cinnamon oatmeal and my coffee and I'm just working on my plan for today. At 10 a.m. I have my laser lounge spa appointment for the salt scrub so I will be taking you guys along with me for that and then I have to be home from 3 to 5 and I'm gonna go work at a co-working space. Almost 10 o'clock, I just had to take the fastest shower of my life or I would have been late to my appointment. But we made it. I'm about to go in and I'll show you guys what this salt scrub process is gonna be like to try to lighten my tattoo. Okay, so I'm at my appointment now. This is the machine we're gonna be using to do the salt facial on my arm. A lot of people come and they have it done to um, their face, obviously, but I'm getting it done to my arm and Andrew's gonna explain the process. <laughs> hey guys, so the salt facial is basically a resurfacing facial that we do a lot. So it uses salt in high forms of pressure to actually remove skin and help resurface. And then we have a nice little ultrasound device that actually penetrates peels a little bit deeper so you get a better result. So okay. I'm sure you guys saw the peel she got last time. We're gonna yeah. do a lighter one, but penetrate a little bit deeper today. That's super cool. And I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. So far, here's the progress. I'll put a picture on screen in case you're new here of what it looked like when I first started, just so you can see how far we've come. So that doesn't hurt at all. Mm -mm. It's just kind of cold. I know. Well, they do this in surgeries to um, deal with stretch marks and stuff. So usually when people are under, they just like hit you hard with it. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna cover the whole thing and then I'm gonna put a chemical peel on it and then we'll use the ultrasound device that will oh. penetrate chemical peel. I'll use a 10% instead of a 20% because, and I won't scrub it. So I'll just put it on there and then use okay. that device to penetrate it. Okay, we just finished going over it with the machine and now he is grabbing the 10% TCA um, solution. It's basically the same thing as before the chemical peel and we're going to go over it with that and then he's going to use the ultrasound machine. So I'm trying to get you better results than last time without as much downtime. This is our ultrasound device. This I can play with the settings and change things. If I change it correctly I can actually do cavitation and kill fat with it. That's so cool. It's so weird because like it doesn't feel like anything. <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah it's doing something. <laughs> right? I know I do the whole face and everyone's like wow this is like are you sure it's doing something? I'm like, oh yeah, if I stop it on your face, it'll burn a hole on you. Much later, I got my Starbucks and 
I put some makeup on. I know I said like this was gonna be my bare face, but I just couldn't do it. I don't like doing things without makeup on. Sue me. Is anyone else like that? I know it's like one extreme to the next. Like some people can't go anywhere without like full blown face of makeup and then other people never wear makeup. And then there's me where I kind of fall in between. I don't love going places with no makeup on, but I don't have to have a full face of makeup. So I just put on a cream contour and then I concealed under my eyes and my chin. I did nothing on my forehead. Um, and then I put on like a radiant serum just to kind of give my skin a little bit of a glow. And I was actually shocked. It doesn't look bad at all. I didn't even do anything with my eyes. It looks like I have eyeshadow on. There's no eyeshadow. I just did a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and I feel like this looks like my everyday makeup anyway even though I don't have foundation on. Luckily for me right now my skin's pretty clear but I just got to the co-working space that I told you guys about so I'm going to sign up for my membership now but today between three and five Comcast is coming to our house to work on our internet so I have to go right back home unfortunately. My goal was to get here earlier because I wanted to spend a few hours actually working when I sign up but I'm not gonna have time today so I'm just gonna at least sign up and then I can come tomorrow and work here. It's much later now and I'm about to make myself some dinner. I'm gonna make this ravioli um, with arugula in it that I got from Trader Joe's with some tomato basil. Okay, here is my dinner. It doesn't look that good, but it smells amazing. And also don't judge how much cheese I put. Whenever I use just a jar of sauce and don't actually like make my own, I have to put a lot of cheese in it to one, thicken it up. And two, I just really like cheese. Hello guys, it's the next day. I didn't vlog much last night. Um, I just ate dinner and then Comcast came to work on our internet and they ended up being there for like three hours, but I did actually get it fixed. So I can upload videos again that don't take 24 hours to upload because that was driving me absolutely insane. Sorry, there's a woman next to me who's just like watching me talk to this camera right now. It's fine. Are you done yet? Whatever. Just stare at me if you want anyway so i'm about to go into starbucks really quick to grab a coffee and then i'm going into the nail salon because i chipped one of my nails and i just got these done like they have not been on long enough to get a fill yet so i'm just gonna have them fix my little chipped nail and then i'll be right back just got finished and guys so I go in there to get my nail fixed, which was supposed to just be the OPI Funny Bunny. That's the color that I got before. And they did not have any left in the bottle. So she only had one bottle of it. She said they've been trying to restock that because it's a popular color, I guess. Um, but she was trying to, because I had two nails. It was the one on this one and the other one that needed to be fixed. And I did three coats of it. There was no way she was going to get three coats. Like she was trying to get it out of the bottle and it was all dried up. So she had me pick another color and I had to to basically just get my nails all repainted um, so I just picked this like nude color and it's by OPI it's called do you take layaway such a strange uh, color but they're really pretty and natural so I basically just got my nails done again anyways now I'm heading to the co-working space I signed up for my membership yesterday and I didn't even tell you guys about it but I got all signed up and today is gonna be like my first official day going in and utilizing the space I'm so excited just got the 239 I am heading in now to finally test out my co-working space and I am so excited to finally have the opportunity to work somewhere that is not at home I feel like I'm gonna be so much more productive and this place is beautiful. I can't wait to show you. So this building actually has like a bunch of different things in it. And the 239 co-working space is on the third floor. I am back in the car heading home now. It's almost four o'clock. I got so much work done in there and I did not film while I was in there because it was like the middle of the day there was other people in there and they're all trying to work and I honestly just didn't want to be distracting or rude and so I didn't really feel comfortable pulling my camera out um, but you know this is my new workspace so I'll definitely be back there and I'll be able to like show you guys what the inside looks like a lot of people go to co-working spaces all the time but this is a new thing for me so I think it's really cool it's like going to a Starbucks times 10 because it's just so nice. Back home now and I'm going to export all of these files and start editing this vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.